Hello, uh, I'm Bolin Gao, and uh, I am one of the authors of the paper A Context-Aware Intelligence System to Automate the Conversion of 2D Audio into 3D Audio Using Signal Processing and Machine Learning. So first of all, let's uh, have an introduction. So right now, uh, we can see that VR technology is evolving rapidly. Uh, so that the visual immersiveness is increasing every year, like new VR glasses are coming out and uh, well, they're getting better and better at creating that uh, visual immersiveness. So what this needs right now is the, the, is the audio experience that must also improve. Uh, so how, how can we do that? We can do that with uh, 3D audio. 3D audio is basically if you manipulate the sound, so that it appears to be coming from any direction in a three-dimensional space. But in reality, you only have the two speakers in your headphones or like a couple of speakers that are laying out there. Okay. So how do we create 3D audio? So one of the ways that uh, we can do that is by using head-related transfer functions. These are, so these are basically like pre-recorded, like we can like, understand how the human ear will perceive sound if we like uh, play it from a certain di direction. So for this uh, project, we focused on creating 3D audio that are listened through headphones. So basically, if we, uh, if we apply a convolution of uh, a head related transfer function and the 3D audio source, we can trick the brain into thinking that the sound is actually coming from somewhere in the 3D space. Uh, however, in reality, all you have are the two headphones on your on your ears. Uh, for example, uh, with this, you can like simulate the sound of a train that's coming from, from like super far and then in front of you, and then suddenly it's going away, J just with the two headphones, uh, just with the two speakers in your headphones. And uh, for our goal of this project, we're trying to bring that immersive uh, 3D audio experience into so that more people can use it. So we're going to create a system that automatically converts between the normal 2D audios into this 3D audio. OK. And uh, so our solution to this problem is, uh, so first, we'll allow the, the user to input their audio file. Uh, and after they input this uh, audio file, we can apply like a source separation thing to it. This is important because uh, we're trying to uh, apply the head related transfer functions to different parts of this recording. So that it sounds like uh, some, some sounds are coming from the left, some sounds are coming from above, and some sounds are coming from uh, below you, for example. So how we can do this with a source separation algorithm. And so what we can do is uh, then we can apply these head-related transfer functions into these separated audio streams. And this allows for further customize, uh, this allows for just uh, that effect that we're looking for. And then after that, we can have a, we can like further customize this audio using a graphical user interface. Sorry, oh, uh, I'll go back. Yes, okay, so let me explain the source separation part. So in our project, we, use, we utilized a source separation algorithm called a splitter, a deezer. Uh, so what it is, is that it's capable of separating the input audio into four stems. It's, a, it's a capable of separating it into the drums, the piano, the vocal, and the other instruments. So after we separate these sources, uh, we can like apply the individual head-related transfer functions into the stem, uh, into the like, separated stems, in order to stimulate these sounds that are coming from a multitude of directions. And uh, yes, and so so this is the application we've created for like using our system. So our goal is basically to create this easy-to-use application in order to customize the resulting. Uh, 3D audio after you uploaded your 2D audio. Yes. And yeah, so let me show you some of the results that we have. Okay. So, 
So this is, uh, so, so in order to test the effectiveness of our system, we created like a short experience experiment in order to uh, just demonstrate it. So for the input audio, uh, we, can, like, we can see that we can like, uh, and, and, uh, like do some domain analysis on it to show that the time domain and the frequency domain. And after you apply the, like uh, the, the, the head related, uh, no, not the, so after you apply the, the source separation algorithm to it, the algorithm is able to extract the four stems that we're looking for in this audio. So over here, we can see the base. It's clearly a part of the original, a very large part of the original uh, sound. And down here, we can see the time domain visualization for drums. Uh, drums is also a very uh, like large part of the original mix. And uh, the piano and uh, vocal are, uh, we can also do the analysis over here. Uh, so we can see that the time domain and frequency domain uh, of the, no, oh, sorry, we can see that, uh, so that piano and vocal are a very small part of this mix. Yes, and, uh, and yes, the, the other instruments, however, is a very large part of the original mix because uh, th there are a lot of like, for example, trumpets and uh, orchestra that are uh, put together because this algorithm did not separate them. Uh, what we can then do is uh, apply the head related transfer functions to it. So in this case, we picked four random ones coming from mostly the left direction, uh, mostly somewhere in the left. So you can see the little uh, blue spikes in the head related transfer functions. And after applying them together, we can see that the final mix. Uh, has, a, has a combination of the of, of the two, and because the head related transfer functions are focused on uh, ma making the sound effect from the left, we can see that uh, the left part of the mix is clearly larger than the right side of the mix. And yeah, uh, for our future, we hope to be able to <coughs> we, we hope to be able to like apply this uh, apply the since we already have the 3 uh, the 2d audio part of uh, the like 3d audio part of it we we'll hope to be able to put it onto for example games and uh, make the experience more immersive and and yeah and we're also looking for for example right now we're only capable of uh like putting the sound from one specific direction uh the next step that we're trying to focus on is to see if we can uh, get the sound audio to move to really create that uh, train coming from afar and suddenly closing up to you and moving away, that type of feeling, uh, that type of like, feeling with the audio. And thank you, that's my presentation.